when solving an absolute value equation like this, um, whew, what we need to do is we need to, before, if you guys have been used to ab absolute value before, what we've done is, you know, we've taken the positive and the negative and, of our value and solve for it. Well, before you can do that, you've got to get rid of everything that's on your side with your absolute value. So I've got to get rid of the 6. Um, so to do that, is that a 6? Oh, I'm sorry, that's a 2. That makes a little more sense. So to do that, before I'm going to get rid of my 2, I need to divide by 2. Therefore, I get 4x is equal to 2x minus 2, absolute value. Now remember, this can be broken down into two different ways. Remember, absolute value, if I took the absolute value of a negative number and the absolute value of that positive number, it's still going to give me the exact same, like negative So therefore, there's a negative and there's a positive value that's going to give me um, my 4x that I can solve for. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the absolute, I'm going to take the negative and the positive. So I'll say 4x is equal to my positive 2x minus 2, and 4x is also going to equal a negative 2x minus 2. So here, to solve for this, I subtract 2x. divide by 2, and x equals negative 1. And here I'm going to have to distribute my negative. Once I've distributed my negative, now I get my x's onto the same side. Now I need to divide by 6. So what that's saying is if I use um, negative one into this equation, all right. Or if I use one third into you know either one of these equations, I'm still going to go and get the my exact same answer when I put an x you know into both sides. So absolute value will still make it work, and that's how you find the absolute value when your absolute value is not only by itself.